I just had to click record as soon as the damn train went by. I swear, honestly, I promise you, I'm not timing this shit. <coughs> <coughs> I watch just over half of that. Now, I have no idea and I'm not going to bother calculating the probability that anyone at all will care to share this video or give a fuck about what I'm saying. I understand that in all probable likelihood, eh, roughly 90% probable, that it's way too late, even now, to say anything. But, on my end, I've been halfway across the entire North American continent in this current physical body, spoken with lots of people, gotten to know dozens of different psychological standpoints and yada yada yada. A lot of expository bullshit that you probably don't give a fuck about right now. Which in circumstances two years ago might have meant something to you but I'm just gonna say it because why the fuck not say it it's better for me to make an attempt on my part than to let it go and just see what the fuck happens There are two, two guys who wear a police uniform. Yeah, I know, that's a, that's a big fucking deal right now, isn't it? It's almost one of those demonetizable words on YouTube right now. YouTube, get the fuck over yourself. I don't care what you think. Whether it's an algorithm or someone manually reviewing this video, I just don't give a fuck. Now's not the time to be petty. But there's two guys who I've found that are worth giving a fuck about. Uh, one, I don't know how to spell his name. Zafransky. He's pretty cool. He listened to me when I gave him advice that was beneficial to him. That and I can look into people's minds and spirits. He's pretty cool. He has potential to be better than what the fuck's going on right now. Or at the very least last time I was in his presence that's what I felt and saw within him within his mind his emotions and his spirit the other is a fellow Tesmer the very 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 first time I spoke with him I could hear it in his voice He's the kind of guy who's, he sees the bullshit and he doesn't like it, but he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the sway with the jackasses who are too numerous and corrupt and control of shit to do anything about it. So the best thing he can do is well, be a cool guy and be worth giving a fuck about. And he continues to do that. It's 
unfortunate that I've only found two worth giving a fuck about. But there they are. So, everybody locally, those two are pretty cool. Don't give them a hard time. Not with what's going on. And yeah, it's gonna get much worse. If I go on and say how much worse this is going to get, I could look like a jackass now, wouldn't I? I've seen this before. I've done the same song and dance so many times. I cannot and will not give a fuck about counting how many times I've done this before. But anyway, it seems like a lot's going on right now. It seems like it's pretty bad, but for me and my experience and what I know, this is only the calm before the storm. It's It's a shit show. It is. It's a complete shit show. But hey, I found two people worth giving a fuck about. So, if you know them, share this video with them or don't. Your choice. If you decide to go off and, and start looting and burning shit or whatever, and you come across them, just walk away. Let them be. And on the really bad news... I can't whitelist everyone. I can't. And I'm not the only one who says, okay, this person's cool, this person's cool, let's, let's save them from the shit that's happening. I'm not the only one who has a say-so here. And it's not my job to uh, exercise my power of judgment and pronounce it over people. Not absolutely, not right now. Most assuredly not right now. I may have lived dozens of, um, well, what would you call them? It was all during my past life where I simply changed my appearance and form. I was Zeus and Hercules. I was Odin and Thor. Um, Krishna and Arjuna. Buddha at one point. Yeah, and then the guy you keep mispronouncing. Uh, the one you call God and then Jesus. Yeah, that was all in my past life. I've done the same song and dance countless times before. 
It's always the same with the human species. But beyond that, I am the primal force that created all of existence. And for me, it's a small marble-like jewel. And the primals of which I am one of their species, we make these things and we make them beautiful. And when things turn to shit and they start smelling bad, and I've told humanity this before, we have a number of choices on how to deal with it. The choice that involves the most effort and yields the greatest reward, and everyone within this little jewel of existence benefits from it, is for us to go into them and fix things ourselves. It shows that we're dedicated to making something that is beautiful, that is ideal for everyone involved. So I'm here. I've put in a lot of effort and a lot of energy. I have exhausted my previous uh, physical existence to the point of death, literally. But I'm back, still at it. Some videos ago, I posed the question, why the fuck do I care? Now you know why I care. It doesn't just show what kind of a being I am in my own species. It shows that I give a fuck about every last individual one of you who is nothing more than a small speck of glowing dust within this little gem of mine. And yeah, that, that seems to smack of impertinence from your perspective, but it's not. Not from me. Even Satan would say that that seems impertinent and arrogant and conceited, vainglorious and pride, but Satan, you're a fucking infant among our species. You're my responsibility. Do what the fuck I tell you to do. You remember? Seven, eight years ago, I told you to do something. You didn't fucking do it. There's a reason I told you that I pre-programmed my physical forms in this existence to do things a certain way. And up until recently, my primal self has kept all knowledge of my true nature's existence from me. This is the tenth time in a row that human species will destroy itself. And I am jaded. How jaded is my true existence with all of this? The words I get from my true self is never again. So like I told you, Satan, you're going to come back crying. So, you know, Take all the time you need. I have infinite time. As an infant, even as an infant, as we primals, Satan, you know that your existence cannot be extinguished, not even by your own doing. Ask your true self. Ask that copy of yourself 
that still cares and who has isolated himself from you. All three or four parts of yourself. I don't know how many of you are out there now. I don't keep count. I haven't bothered to keep track of it since you told me there were three parts of yourself. And I lied to you efficiently and effectively. What about? It doesn't matter right now. Maybe it'll matter later. But right now, what matters is my jewel of existence needs to be fixed. It needs to be made beautiful. Where everyone, every last individual cell, molecule, atom, subatomic particle, and etc., etc., benefits from the beauty. Now, I'm not going to stop until I get there. And for everyone in existence, there's a reason that I'm not telling you the other two or three options that we have at the basermost level to deal with problems within our little beautiful gems of existence. But we do use them as ornaments to display on our person to show everyone of our friends and family what kind of a being we are. Our little jewels of existence are a reflection on our true nature, our ability and resolve to make things beautiful, where everyone involved benefited from it and will continue to benefit from it forever. Truly, infinitely. Nothing within this existence is infinite except for theoretical mathematics. And that knowledge probably doesn't mean much to anyone right now. But both before and after this um, shit show it'll mean something to somebody so do me a favor that'll benefit everyone <clears throat> if you come across Zafransky or Tesmer you're out looting and pillaging leave them alone walk away and if that doesn't come to this small town then if you do meet them thank them for being cool dudes Oh yeah, and until next time, fuck off.